Things are a little different this year. A little different and a little distant. They say it's unprecedented. We say it's a chance to show our strengths through innovation, ingenuity, patience, and generosity. Things Knights are known for. Your time at UCF ended differently than we all thought it would. No pomp, no circumstance, and no hard-earned, well-deserved walk across the stage. At least, not yet. But here's the thing, that walk doesn't make you a knight. You've always been a knight, ever since you stepped on campus, maybe long before then, and nothing will ever change that. You have years of experiences that no one can take away from you. Exciting memories, inspiring moments, challenging triumphs, and dreams come true. Unbeaten, 13 and 0. No one will ever have the same college experience as you, and that's a wonderful thing. Classes beginning for the first time at UCF Downtown. The 15-acre campus is the new home to more than 20 degree programs. The future is yours to shape too. No matter what your focus was in the classroom, you are now a better version of yourself, ready to make an impact right here in our community. Brand new testing site is set to open in Central Florida, this time on the campus of UCF. Across the country, Limitless Solutions is 3D printing parts for masks for first responders. Around the world. We have scientists, we have engineers, we have others who could be thinking about how do you test, how do you diagnose, how do you cure. And out beyond the stars. Determined to return to the moon by 2024, UCF is a critical part of that plan. Right now, we celebrate you, the class of 2020, in the best way we can and simply ask that you take care of yourself and others. Stay strong, stay curious, and as always, charge on. commencement exercise of the University of Central Florida. I'm Elizabeth Klonoff, Vice President for Research and Dean of the College of Graduate Studies. To begin our ceremony, our vocalist, Jose Velez, and our organist, Andrew Walker, will lead us in singing our national anthem. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the burrows fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket. Red leather bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say those that star spangled yet
Mr. President, the summer 2020 graduating class of the University of Central Florida's College of Graduate Studies are virtually assembled. Thank you, and thank you all for being with us online today. Obviously, this virtual commencement is not our preferred way to honor your achievements. All of us at UCF hope we are able to provide a recognition worthy of your successes in person when it is safe to gather together again. This is a big milestone in the lives of our graduates, and I am very pleased that so many friends, family members, and guests are able to join us virtually to help celebrate their accomplishments. It took a lot of hard work for them to get to where they are, and I am honored to reward them with the degrees and certificates they are here to receive. They have definitely earned them. I know you are proud of your graduates, and I also know that a good part of their success is because of your love and support. Family and friends, thank you for all you have done to help get them this far and for all you will continue to do. Today is a celebration of your success, too. Before we continue, I'd like to acknowledge some special members of the UCF family who may not be with us online today, UCF's brave men and women who have been called away to active military duty. I would also like to acknowledge two additional groups of graduates, graduating members of our ROTC programs who have just been, or are about to be, commissioned as officers in our armed forces, and our graduating student veterans. All of these graduates deserve our special thanks and congratulations. To UCF's faculty, you are the foundation of our great institution and mentors to the next generation of pioneers and innovators. Thank you for your contributions and impact. The dedication you and all educators have displayed in these unprecedented times is nothing short of amazing. Our commencement speaker earned his bachelor's degree right here at the University of Central Florida. To pay for his education, he accepted a role as an hourly cast member at Walt Disney World Resort, a job he started in September of 1971, one month before the resort opened. After graduation, he stayed on with Disney through a number of leadership roles, including in recent years as chief operating officer at Disneyland Paris, president of the Disneyland Resort in California, and president of Walt Disney World here in Florida. Today, he is president of segment development and enrichment for Disney Parks experiences and products, a role in which, among other things, he deepens the Disney experience for guests and cast members at every Disney destination around the world. Please welcome, via video, George A. Calagridis. Thank you, President Cartwright. Trustees, faculty, and staff, thank you for the way that year after year, you make me feel so very, very proud to be a knight. And graduates and families, what an honor it is to be invited into your homes today. This is a unique year for commencements. I know that when you began your university journey, you didn't think you would cap it off with a ceremony in your family room, your living room, your pool deck, lanai, or wherever you happen to be today. But the graduation march for every American commencement is pomp and circumstance. And I would like to salute UCF for providing as much pomp as the circumstances allow. As President Cartwright said, I'm an alumnus of this university, and I hasten to point out that I did not graduate in the arena either. The arena did not exist at that time, nor did any other campus building large enough for a commencement. So the school drained the reflecting pond and set up folding chairs in it. We graduated in the fountain. Also, our university was not called UCF at the time. It was Florida Technological University. But when I reflect on it, I think the biggest distinction between your commencement today and the one I had many years ago is how I viewed the future then and how you are thinking about the future 
right now. I'm standing today in the American Adventure Pavilion at Epcot in front of a painting called The Promise of America by Disney legend Herb Ryman. Herb was the artistic genius who executed the first concept sketches for Disneyland in California. He was retired by the time we opened Walt Disney World, but he came out of retirement to design many of the elements here. The Promise of America captures the hope of a nation Yet, when I graduated from this university, that seemed diminished. Twelve years earlier, while I was still in elementary school, Congress had passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964. It was not smooth sailing. The legislation was stalled for 75 days by a filibuster in the Senate. Even after it was passed, there was widespread bias. There was resentment. There was a privileged class that did not want to relinquish its privilege. Desegregation, civil rights, and equal opportunity were the law of the land, but they were not the will of many of the people. Throughout my years at college, it was obvious that there was a great disparity. During my freshman year, another important piece of legislation, the Equal Opportunity Act, was passed. Yet, it was obvious that equality was still a very long way off. Think now of your college years. True, the journey to true equality is not complete, but I have never seen the desire for justice burn so brightly. Think of the shock and the dismay and the outcries that you felt and you witnessed at the killings of Breonna Taylor, of George Floyd, and unfortunately, so many others. University students have long been the moral conscience of our nations, and in conversations on social media and elsewhere, you've made your voices heard. Only a month and a half ago, the Supreme Court ruled that the Civil Rights Act of 1964 applied to LGBTQ people as well, that they could not be discriminated against for being what they had been born to be. If you were astonished that it took a Supreme Court ruling to require 29 states to make this their law, rest assured, as a gay man, I share your astonishment. If you were indignant that it took 56 years for this to come to pass, then I am proud of you. When I graduated from this university, it went without saying that gay people stayed quiet about who and what they were. People of color did not have that option, so they graduated into a world that seemed determined to remain slanted and biased. Today, we are better than that. You are better than that. Reinforced by events that have taken place during the latter years of your education, you know that it takes much more than tolerance to create equality. And as we have seen through the outcries that have been made, you, the next leaders in our society, have decided and are insisting on doing something about it. Recently, President Cartwright shared something with me that lifted my heart. The University of Central Florida is not only the largest university in Florida, it also has an extraordinarily diverse student body. Nearly half of all UCF students identify as people of color. Here's why that's important. Education is an essential component in determining who we are, but it is not the only component. There are certain things that can only be learned by experience, who we grew up with and where we grew up. That foundational awareness helps determine how we view the world. It's crucial. And on the whole, if the perspectives accumulated by our companies, our universities, or other organizations, if that slants too heavily toward one community, valuable points of view are lost. We all carry with us knowledge that cannot be learned in the abstract, 
It has to be lived. That worldview can be a valuable and positive asset for businesses and organizations in literally every industry that there is. And here's a fact. The businesses that excel are the businesses that embrace everyone. Great organizations want every person to do well, and it takes every voice to accomplish that. We have moved forward in the long journey towards social justice, and we have moved forward in many other areas as well. When I received my diploma from this university, space flight was a pursuit exercised by nations. Today, private companies are going to space to make the world a better place for everyone. When I graduated, computers with scores of gigabytes of storage and high-speed processors were the exclusive province of governments and major corporations. Today, we all have one of those in our pockets. Today, I can get on a call with colleagues in Paris, look them in the eye, share a document with them, and not think anything of it. Working through the pandemic, after one such call, a team member said to me, I cannot believe how quickly we are getting things done. I'm pointing this out to make one thing clear. Every generation since the Industrial Revolution has graduated with better minds, brighter ideas, smarter ways of doing things. Your class is no exception. But what does make you exceptional is that your hearts are in exactly the right place as well. It is practically the duty of a commencement speaker to tell you that you are about to change the world and make it a better place. I'm doing that today, but I want to make something clear. I absolutely, positively believe it. So, do well for yourselves. When I was where you are today, my focus was on career. Careers are important, so I am certain you are thinking about yours as well. Yet, as I speak with university students and recent graduates today, I sense that you've upped the ante a little bit. I get the impression that you wish to do well for yourselves, but it's important to you to do well for the world at the same time. I applaud that. I encourage you to do just that. Make the world a place with deeper justice, with hope in abundance for communities that have rarely seen hope. Make it a place where comfort zones are not defined by sameness. When Herb Ryman painted The Promise of America, that promise was that people would have the ability to better themselves. I am proud today to address a class that understands what's possible right now and what was never possible to this degree before, the promise of bettering others, the promise of bettering the planet. I hope that when you look back on your days at UCF, the predominant element will not be that of social distancing, but of social advancement, how you learned to elevate us as a people. I look forward to seeing you put that education to work. I look forward to seeing you put who you are to work. Go Knights, charge on, and thank you. Thank you, George. Bettering not only ourselves, but others, is a defining value of UCF, as is the belief that we are enriched through the diversity of our lived experiences. We are moved by your call for social advancement and by your example. You have rightly earned the admiration and respect of your fellow Knights. Thank you. And now, the exciting time in our program when degrees are conferred and we read our graduates' names. Given the number and diversity of names at UCF, we apologize if there are any mispronunciations. Will Dr. Michael Johnson, Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, please commence with the conferral of degrees.
Dr. Klonoff, will you present the candidates for the master's degree? Mr. President, on behalf of the dean and the faculty, I am pleased to present these candidates for the degrees for which they qualify and recommend that they be conferred. Thank you, Dr. Klonoff. Candidates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Florida and with the concurrence of the UCF Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended and for which you have qualified with all the rights and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations to those who have earned this distinction. Saeed Anwar, Kimberly Teresa Cordell, Ulyssa Cruz, Leela Hope Greenspan, Jordan Hayes, Wendy Marie Keith, Samuel J. Marshall, Siana Amari Martin, Akash Bharat Patel, Jonathan Primo Revels, Aisha Miletsi Rivera, Camry Gracie Samuel, Stephen Andrew Lee Scheller, Grace Christine Stant, Walker Jeremy Talton, Miguel Angel Torado III, Rachel Lee Williams. Hello, and welcome to everyone tuned into this ceremony. Friends, family, and the graduating class of 2020. Today we celebrate all of your achievements as you become an official graduate of the University of Central Florida. As we embrace our new normal, we are reminded of what it means to be a knight. Knights are resilient, innovative, and determined. As knights, we learn to adapt to our surroundings. We charge on. This may not be the last time we face a challenge like this, but we must continue to move forward. Let today be a reminder to you all that despite the roadblocks and the trying times, you still cross the finish line. When you first became a knight, you entered a diverse community that celebrated our differences. This community wouldn't be what it is without all of you, and you have made your mark on UCF forever. You have shown us perseverance, courage, and integrity. Each of you has impacted this university in more ways than one. You are each an integral part of our Knight community, and you will forever be a member of our UCF family. Today signifies that you have risen to the challenge and you have all succeeded, and that's worth celebrating. As this chapter closes, reflect on your UCF journey and the course it took you to cross this line today. But don't stop there. Look forward to tomorrow. Today is only the first day in this next chapter of your lives. As you continue on your path, you will always carry UCF with you. This is a pivotal moment in your career and you have the knowledge and the wisdom to scale new heights. If you ever find yourself lost, just remember the tenets you've embodied in your time at UCF, the creed, integrity, scholarship, community, creativity, and excellence. Remember these core values and treat them as guiding principles as you go out into the world and accomplish incredible things. With these values and the knowledge you've gained during your time at UCF, you'll be unstoppable. Go out into the world, follow your passions, cultivate your talents, and never forget your alma mater. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Go into the world and make us proud. Thank you, President LaRosa. During the past few years as students at UCF, I'm sure you had many thoughts about this day and what it would look like. However, I am sure this reality is not like anything you imagined. But I do hope that you keep yourselves filled with the optimism that I've come to admire about UCF's incredible students and graduates, and continue to see the silver lining in every cloud. In the midst of a pandemic, when we are physically distancing from one another and our days can sometimes be indistinguishable, we can become so concentrated on the present that our future can start to get out of focus. At times, it can become difficult to even imagine tomorrow. While I understand that impulse, those of us associated with universities have an advantage. You see, universities are unique in human history. They commonly outlast other societal institutions. They commonly outlast the oldest businesses. They even outlast countries. That's because we take the long view. This long view allows those of us in higher education to practice for the future. In fact, that's why we exist, 
to think about and prepare for the future, to make good on the promise of possibility, to provide hope. The future, as Robert Kennedy once said, is not a gift, it is an achievement. So today, I honor your achievement, which is the bright future that has become a reality through your hard work and vision. I do not want to underplay the enormity of the task ahead. We are at a special moment, ready to define not just who we are, but who we want to be, as a university, as a nation, and as human beings. I remain optimistic on which direction we will choose, not because I am blind to the challenges we face, but because I so clearly see the promise of possibility in you. You have a much greater influence than you realize. Each decision causes a ripple effect that touches others and their actions, ideas, and potential. You may never know the full impact you will have, but I know it is going to be extraordinary. Because of this, I want not only to congratulate you on your accomplishments today, I want to thank you. You give us hope, and that may be the greatest achievement of all. We will close our ceremony by singing the alma mater, but first, to the class of 2020, congratulations, thank you, and charge on. It's Nicole Stott here wishing you happy graduation. Not the commencement you planned on, I know, but life is always an adventure. I hope that uh, you go forth and do great things and always remember that we live on a planet, we are all earthlings, and the only border that matters is that thin blue line of atmosphere that blankets and protects us all. So live like crew, not passengers here on Spaceship Earth, and I wish you all the best. Hi. I'm Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings. Congratulations on your recent graduation from the University of Central Florida. We're very proud of you. We look forward to working with each of you. I know that things are different this year, but I offer you this bit of advice. Pray first, aim high, and stay focused. Hey UCF grads, it's Mayor Dyer. I know you guys are celebrating your graduation a little differently this year, but certainly it doesn't diminish your great accomplishments. So congratulations, charge on. Congratulations to all the graduates at UCF, and I'd like to give a really special shout out to our doctoral masters and undergraduate graduates from the College of Sciences. You did it. I'm so excited for our graduates who are celebrating their successes today. Thank you for all of the energy and expertise that you've put into your degrees. Thank you for representing UCF and our college as you go out into the world and make a difference. Congratulations to all of you for meeting this particular milestone in your life. You have achieved so much and as Knights, we know that you will make your mark in the world and achieve much more. Congratulations, Burnett Honors Scholars. We are so excited about the foot the future holds for you. Graduates, I know this was not the graduation ceremony you wanted nor expected. You've experienced an unprecedented disruption in the final year of your education. I'm sorry that I cannot be with you personally, but I know that you, know, you will be doing great 
But regardless, you get to celebrate today and you need to be proud of all of the accomplishments that you have made in the College of Nursing as our 2020 graduates. The grit and perseverance you have shown these last few months will serve you well throughout your careers and lives. You succeeded in historic times. Go forth and be strong. Stay healthy, do good, and live well. Well done. Congratulations, class of 2020. With all your accomplishments you've done throughout the years at UCF, we are so proud to call you part of our Knight family. Although we can't be together in person today, I hope you know I'm always rooting for you as you go on in your years. And as always, go Knights. Go Knights. Go Knights. Charge on. And charge on. And charge on. Congratulations, muchas felicidades y vamos Knights. And to all the graduating students, I say congratulations, and I wish you much luck and success in all your future endeavors. Good luck, shiny knights. Summer 2020 graduates, congratulations. What you have accomplished today is extraordinary. There is no doubt that your last semester at UCF has been very different than you ever imagined but you did not let the current challenges deter you from your goal. You have proven that Knights can always be counted on to rise to every occasion, no matter the obstacles. And you've shown that you can excel in the most trying times. These are incredible strengths that you will carry with you now and for many years to come. As individuals and a society, our excellence is defined by our ability to rally around challenges and to discover solutions. Through the actions we take each day, we should endeavor to have a positive impact on everyone we encounter. The difficulties you face do not define you, but they will help you grow professionally and personally and unleash the power you have to make our world a better place. That's why I remain so optimistic about your future. You will positively impact society through your vision of what is possible, the hard work necessary to accomplish that vision, and the support of your friends, loved ones, and all of us at UCF. Today, we honor you, all that you have achieved and the exciting path ahead. And we look forward to celebrating this milestone with you in person when the time is right. Until then, to UCF's newest alumni, go Knights and charge on. <laughs>